Hello there. Today we'll be concluding our series on 12 myths of breastfeeding. Welcome to your health today with Dr. Ide, where I talk about your health and wellness. I am Dr. Olaide Chinodo. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, I think you're missing out. Why don't you subscribe right now and hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time I post new videos. Now straight to the chase. Myth number 25. You will know in the first day or two whether breastfeeding is meant for you or not. Now this is very false. You need to understand that especially with first time moms who are very new to the game, both mothers and babies are both learning. They are new to this breastfeeding game. So a day or two is probably not enough for you to get the hang of breastfeeding. It might take another one week. Practice makes perfection. It takes practice on both the mother and the baby's side to get really good at this thing called breastfeeding. Myth number 26. Breastfeeding spoils babies, especially if you do it for too long. <laughs> breastfeeding has nothing to do with a baby being pampered or not. A baby who is being bottle fed can be pampered as well. So it's a very wrong notion that breastfeeding spoils babies. It is completely wrong. Myth number 27. Adding cereals to your baby's bottle feeding will make a baby sleep all through the night. While this may be true because cereals are actually heavier than breast milk and formula, it is actually not very good for your baby, especially when your baby isn't six months yet. When you give your baby cereals, your baby's digestive system is not prepared to digest cereals. So that's probably too heavy for your baby and your baby will most likely not be healthy. So it is advised that you don't give your baby cereals until your baby hits six months of age. And even at six months, there are specific kinds of cereals meant for your baby. Myth number 28. Babies don't need breast milk after they start eating solid food. That is not true. The fact that your baby has been introduced to family diets doesn't mean they no longer need breast milk. Now let me tell you something. Your breast milk changes as your baby gets older. Let me tell you one thing, your breast milk is designed specifically for your baby, tailor made for your baby. That is the best food for your baby. So the older your baby gets, your breast milk adjusts to the needs of the baby. So don't just get it twisted that because my baby has started solid food, I can stop the baby's breast milk or the baby no longer requires breast milk. Your baby still requires breast milk because the breast milk is essentially meant for your baby, tailor made. For your baby if you know what i mean myth number 29 stop breastfeeding your baby the moment your baby starts growing teeth and i can hear some mother saying hey the doctor is because you're a man you don't have breast if not then you would have tried breastfeeding with teeth now calm down mothers when your baby is breastfeeding your baby will most likely not bite you while breastfeeding your baby can bite you immediately after breastfeeding just as a sign of satisfaction but what you should do is not to shout at that child but Gently yet sternly tell the child no. Let the child understand that what the child is doing is wrong. But when you just shout at that child, you might just excite the child to do it again. So growing teeth is not a deterrent to breastfeeding. Myth number 30. Once your baby turns a year old, breastfeeding is just for comfort. Now that is not true. Like I said earlier, the breast milk changes and adapts to your baby's needs as your baby is growing older. If you decide to stop breastfeeding your child, that is fine. It's a matter of preference. But if you decide or if you actually desire to continue breastfeeding your child, why not go ahead? Your baby still probably needs breast milk. Don't forget, it's a cheaper, fresher source of milk. Source of protein, carbohydrate, a balanced diet. The breast milk is a balanced diet. It's all the baby needs. Myth number 31. Pumping out breast milk is a good way of knowing how much milk you produce. That is false. When you pump breast milk, you most likely will not get the adequate amount of milk you're producing. But when your baby latches on your breast, your baby can empty your breast way faster than a breast pumping machine will do. Myth number 32. Breastfeeding moms can have a social life. Now that is very false. It's a matter of planning. If you're an expectant mother and you're already getting depressed that you will no longer be able to have a social life, think again. That is so false. It all depends on planning, how you plan your breastfeeding. You can mix breastfeeding with bottle feeding. You need to be skilled. You need to see a lactation consultant or 
your midwife just to learn how to do these things but i can assure you it's very possible you have to plan towards it so stop getting depressed breastfeeding doesn't rob you of your social life Myth number 33 do not breastfeed while you are sick you most likely will pass the illness to your baby now that is very wrong except for a few infections like hiv you most likely will not pass an illness to your baby example malaria a lot of people believe that once your mother has malaria she should not breastfeed but that is false you can't pass malaria through breastfeeding in fact when you're ill your body produces antibodies that are present in the breast milk that get to your baby so your baby is still protected during an illness myth number 34 you should wash your nipples before breastfeeding <laughs> now that is so wrong there's something called the normal flora these are the good bacteria that we have on the skin when your baby latches on your breast milk and consumes some of this good flora it's only building the baby's digestive system so this is completely normal it is completely unnecessary to wash your nipples before breastfeeding your child myth number 35 you should separate a mother from a baby immediately after birth to ensure that mother rests very well that is so false not necessary anymore in fact we encourage that mothers put babies to breast immediately as soon as possible skin to skin to foster bonding between mother and child so you no longer need to wait before you start breastfeeding there is no need myth number 36 you should be on a special diet when breastfeeding now that is completely wrong you don't need to be on a blank diet because you're breastfeeding you should be on a regular balanced diet just the way you are while you weren't pregnant your baby needs balanced diet the mother needs balanced diet as well so your breast milk is as good as your diet eat a balanced diet you produce very good milk for your baby if you just love this video i would have you like push the comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel so we'll meet again same place same time next week don't forget health is wealth bye for now